Breathe in. Now, breathe out. It is often said that every second breath we take comes from the ocean, most of which lies far beyond the closest shoreline, far beyond the borders of any nation. The high seas make up the entire ocean outside of national jurisdiction. They cover nearly half the planet and are a vast expanse of ocean wilderness that's far from barren. They are home to species that captivate our imagination and species we are only now just beginning to understand. They're sources of scientific discoveries that can improve lives. This is the first time a fish in this family has ever been seen alive. And unique ecosystems where biodiversity thrives. We may never see them ourselves, but we all depend on the high seas. And they're in trouble. Climate change, overfishing and other threats are wreaking havoc on these waters but the high seas remain virtually unprotected. Only 1% of them have been protected, but some scientists say we need to safeguard 30% of our oceans with marine reserves to build resilience against these threats. No single government has authority on the high seas, so oversight is left to a patchwork of organizations that manage different activities and have different priorities. It's chaotic and consequential for a resource we can't afford to lose. But the global community has a chance to change course on the high seas. For the first time ever, the United Nations is working on a treaty that would put this global resource under global protection. We have one chance to get this right. Let's protect the high seas before it's too late.